Hey everyone, welcome to another nighttime reading test. My name is Michael. This is Peter. We have the Nook Lola Plus here in our studio yep. today, and it's on maximum brightness. Maximum. You can see that page turn speeds rather fast. They are. If you want to see a full review of this video, check out our review video on our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash goodyreader. Right. Now, we are reading it in the dark and complete brightness. You augment the brightness levels by tapping the center screen and clicking on the little light button yeah. on the top right hand corner. Then you get the little bar to play with and there's quite a bit of flexibility in the range you can choose. Yeah. So around this level is ideal if you're reading in complete darkness. If you bring it down lower it almost becomes like unreadable. Yeah, so you want to find that good mix of being able to not wake up the people around you with light, but still give you enough light to actually utilize. Yeah. What I found out is once you sort of go down from 50%, it's a subtle, like a subtle illumination. Yeah. So if you're outside and under a tree in daylight, yeah. you maybe want the glow light on at some degree, but not noticeably. Right. So I think that the lower levels are good for like shade for if you're reading under a bridge, maybe. I under like a troll? Yeah. <laughs> Who passes over my bridge? Oh, I was thinking of like... Oh, a, it's just Michael. <laughs> oh, well, I was thinking more of like an internet troll. <laughs> oh, yeah. So you see, if we look at the top, we have the five LEDs. That's actually a really good shot right there. Five LEDs, but also you get a little bit of gray splotching there. And that's, that's not the worst thing in the world, but it is a little bit evident. Also, it's not coming very... Um, good across camera because we have to match the brightness levels properly but around the bezel on the side we get a little bit of spilling um it's not really it's not the biggest issue but uh it's just it shows the the um the build the craftsmanship of this device is a little bit strange because it is a waterproof device as you can check out on our youtube channel but at the same time we found little gaps in everything and you'll see that in our full review that there's also, yeah. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but there's two little status lights there there's on each corner of the device. There's a status indicator light on the corner on the bottom left and the bottom right. So uh, they'll light up when you run out of batteries and you, um, you know, charge your device and whatnot. All right. So this has been a nighttime reading test with the Nook Glowlight Plus. Drop a comment below. Let us know how this performed versus other e-readers or other videos that you've seen on the internet. For Goody Reader, my name is Michael. This is Peter. Everybody take care.